Hey, how it's going guys? In this video, I'm going to show you an init and workflow that will help you automatically post on LinkedIn. Let's say you have a LinkedIn page, right? Uh, let's say you have an organization, your startup or any kind of businesses and you have a LinkedIn page and you don't get time to post regularly, right? And you have to rely on somebody, some kind of agencies to post you on your behalf. We can easily automate that using NATN, uh, which is an automation platform, right? And I will show you right now, it's completely free. You don't have to pay anything to kind of post, create this workflow and post it. So let me show you how it works. So if you look at here on my screen, I have this NATN workflow uh, from left to right. If you see, it has a schedule trigger. It means that it would have been triggered at some point of time, you know, for a, for a given day, right? And then in the end, on the uh, right, you see create a post. It creates a LinkedIn post. Let me show you. This is the post which it, it did. If you look at here, this is one of my page called Super Quantum Lab. Okay. And on the Super Quantum Lab, you can see it has posted yesterday. The future of compute, computing is accelerating at warp speed. We are witnessing a thrilling convergence of AI and quantum computing. It also just generate an image and post it automatically. I don't have to do anything. And I will be focusing on my other side of the business. I don't have to kind of start investing my time to start posting it, right? So this is what we have built. And this is completely using generative AI models. So generative models. Okay, so we are using, you know, some kind of LLMs and image generation model that has been used by an agentic workflow. So AI agent that uses these models and some instructions to basically uh, do all of these tasks for us, right? Now, this that you see, it's not only like just writing from LLM. We also bring latest and trending topics or information from Tevelai Web Search. So the agent also uses a tool that's called Tevelai Web Search that connects with open internet and fetches some kind of latest or trending topics or information for your given niche or domain. Let's say if I have a page on quantum computing, I would like to fetch Letter information on quantum. If you are working in the agentic AI space or if you have a retail manufacturing, logistics, supply chain, sustainability, anything like that, you want to fetch that information from internet and give it to an agent that will create a very beautiful looking LinkedIn post. And then that will post using an image also. That image has been generated through stable diffusion uh, from stability AI. So this is what NATN workflow looks like. I will explain that in a bit. Now, if you don't know NATN, NATN is a workflow automation platform. Their pitch is very simple. There is nothing that you can't automate. So automation, right? It's not a new terminology, right? We have been automating for so many years, like rule-based automations, RPA automations, robotic process automations, right? Uh, companies like UiPath have been doing it for so many years, right? For backend processes. And then we had natural language based uh, automation and different tools that we have used like rules based, conditionals based uh, automations like using JPR and whatnot. Now, in this current era of AI, right, we have been seeing AI agent based automations or agent AI based automations, right? So it has, it has evolved a lot. Automation is not a new uh, terminology. Now, this is how NATN, you know, you can use, you can use cloud for free. Uh, 14 days you can use it for free trial after that you have to pay 25 26 dollars and that's really worth to pay that if you want to do it i have created an nn workflow templates for you uh, there are more than 90 tested you know battle tested beta tested you know workflow templates like ai agent to publish blog on hash node ai assistant auto summarizations workflow you know different types of workflow uh that I have created and this will keep on appending and I will give the link in description. You can get this, you can see lead magnet. So lead generation, uh, you know, workflow that will generate leads and will automatically write it to your CRMs, right? Uh, the different types of rag, you know, agentic rag, rag chatbot for company documents, resume analyzer workflow that can analyze your resume. You know, it can do web search. Uh, we have WhatsApp chatbot, WhatsApp templates, agentic rag, appointment scheduler, Bitcoin alert, personal agent, micro journal, and you can see everything is there, right? So if you're someone who wants it, uh, there are now 90 plus, I have to update this, but uh, find the link in description if you want to get a bundle of NIT and workflow templates. Now let's head back, you know, to this particular thing, which is your NIT and workflow. So what we are doing here, the first, everything that you see here, 
the top. It's called node, guys. It's called a node. If you look at this schedule trigger, how do we get something here? You just have to search schedule trigger. So you just search schedule trigger. And when you click on schedule trigger, it has a trigger interval. Like, do you want to trigger it on every second? Let's say we have some sensor data coming up. Sensor data, you would like to have it every second, right? So it depends on your use cases, what kind of data sources you are connecting with, right? So you can say minutes, hours, days, weeks, months, custom. I have days. I want to post every two days on my LinkedIn account. You can see days between triggers and what time I want to post it, so 5 p.m right so 5 pm every two days it will post this agent will post on my linkedin page about a trending quantum plus ai topics i will show you that now after that we have added an ai agent node how do we add that you come here and just see this ai agent it will show you or you can also search ai agent and you can just add this node now once you add this node there are a couple of things that you will probably like to add here. One is your chat model that is mandatory to add. An agent without an LLM is right now nothing. That's how we say LLM based agent. Agent can be rule based also. Okay, but here we are talking about LLM based agent. Now in the chat model, we are using a Google model. You can see it says Google Gemini chat model. In the Google Gemini chat model, we have, I have configured my credentials. You have to go on Gemini API and get an API key and get it if you are doing it for the first time. Now I have created an HTTP tool. Now, so HTTP tool is something where let's say if that particular service is directly not available on NATN, we would like to create our own tool through and through you know their API documentations and their you know specification that they provide for the endpoints. So here I have added an Tableau web search tool. You can see it says Tableau web search. Now in this web search, you know you can find out this is what I have given as my query latest update in quantum ai field so i want to get trending or latest information on quantum plus ai intersection so that's what table i does it and then here i have a very good prompt template that you see it says you know that says you are an ai social media strategist tasks with writing a professional yet engaging linkedin post it has a goal it has an instructions it has an output format that's what it does and then after that, I have a code here, uh, you know, that basically helps me format a few things the way I want it. And that's why guys, coding is still important. Trust me. Anybody who says that coding is not important. Okay. It's not that you have to write code to build solutions, right? It's, it has to be a fundamental skills for you. Trust me. Now, if you understand the code, you can utilize AI in a better way. That's how it works in reality, right? Now I have a code that basically cleans up the, uh, you know, the raw output from the agent in a way I want it and I'll show you that. And then I have an image generation script. If you look at the image generation script, here in, a, in this image generation script, I am giving the input post, which is my json.post. Okay, it has a prompt, it has an, you know, a headline. What it does, it creates a one line image headline. So I'm using a, this agent that you see, this, uh, this one, image generation script, by the way, excuse me, this basically uses this previous output okay, to create a single line of query that I will use to search on stable diffusion image generation right model. That's what it does here. You can see now here in this code also a pretty simple. I'm just cleaning up the uh, JSON or markdown whatever and just to send it to stable diffusion. Now here I'm using stable diffusion and in the stable diffusion you can see I have my form data. It, it, this is how you have to give it JSON.txt. You have to give the value, name, blah, 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 and everything goes here, the URL and everything that we get it from here. If you don't have an API key, go to this, uh, go to this uh, stability AI developer platform, platform.stability.ai. You get an API key from here, copy that API key, come here and post it here in this bearer token. So you have to do authorization, bearer, and then your API key. And then you just have to fill all of these things as it is. That's what it is. And these are all available guys on that uh, NIT and workflow template. Now, once that is done, I have to connect with my LinkedIn. So you have to search LinkedIn here. And when you see LinkedIn, let me show you that. 
Now in LinkedIn, I have set up my credentials. You can see credentials to connect with. You can directly log in with your LinkedIn if you are using N8 and cloud. If you are self-hosted, you have to go and take it from LinkedIn developer portal. It doesn't that straightforward. So if you're on cloud, it's easier to work with. And I'm doing a post, you can see post. And after the post, you can see I have a create operation, post as an organization. I want to post as an organization, not on my personal. And you can see organization URN here. So that's basically my URN. URN is nothing your, this is your URN. If you go on like, if you view as like, let's say admin or member, this is your URN that you see. This is my URN. And on that URN, it basically post it, right? That's what it does, right? And as simple as that guy is very straightforward. Now, you can try it out, you can run it. The moment you do execute workflow, it automatically execute it for you, okay? And you can see if, if, if it all screens, then it means fine. If there are error, we will fix it, not a problem. There might be a scenario when you have exceeded your quota or token if you're using free, like let's say a free account or something. But in my case, I'm not using any such anything like that. I know that my tokens are there, it's not exceeded yet the quota for it. You can see it's all green. Let me take a screenshot that will be helpful for me to create a thumbnail. I'll take this. Now, guys, it doesn't mean that you have to add thousands of nodes. If you can make a workflow work for five nodes also, that is fine. Don't go into bandwagon of those hype that you see on YouTube thumbnails where people are creating you know, thousands and hundreds of nodes, which is not required because probably they don't know how to write a little bit of code also. You can do a lot of things with the code functions, code or functions node you know, on N8N that has a lot, of, a lot of power or potential to basically minimize your workflow. Now, once that is done, you can see in the, let me show you step by step. Here on the trending topic post, you can find out that it has given me a JSON output. It gives me a, you know, a post output here. The pace of innovation in AI is simply mind blowing. Just in the last 20, 48 hours, we have seen some incredible advancement. Google Quantum AI has just unveiled Willow their next generation quantum chip. And if you just look at Tevelai, it would have fetched that. You can see this is this is what it has fetched. You can see the Willow thingy here. So you can find out all those information uh, that you see here, right? So it, it uses this information, this agent, and give it to Gemini model and synthesize a post for you. And then in this code response, I just get this post, you know, from the JSON. I'm just past that uh, in the way I want it. And then I have an image generation script. You can look at the output. In the text, it also has a JSON response, headline, quantum AI, the future of computing just arrived, blah, blah, blah. And then I give this stable diffusion that basically gives me uh, this output. If you look at, the, if you just view this, this is how it gives me okay, an output. Here, this is what we have cleared it. You can see this, this is the thing that I just wanted. And here I got this amazing image that has been generated by stable diffusion. I'm not using the best model because I don't want to pay any money. So I'm not using the best model. The best model, if you use, they are really good with the typography as well. A lot of models, the generative models has issue with guys uh, typography, the text when they write it. And it will give you an ID when you look at create a post. It gives you an ID with your URN that this has been posted successfully. If it all greens, it means you have successfully posted it. So if you look at here on my page, let's go through the post. And you can find find out two minutes back it has posted it amazing right and it also bring some hashtags guys right we can do a little bit of better formatting if you want you can see the pace of innovation in ai is simply mind-blowing just in the last 20 48 hours we have seen some incredible advancement willow google ai has announced a new quantum algorithm that solves complex inference problems with the quadratic speed up and exponentially less memory than classical methods. This isn't just theoretical, it offers practical gains. So now I don't have to post, I'll be sleeping and this agent will post for me the way I want them to post, right? I can create multiple schedule trigger. This is one example guys, LinkedIn. In the next N10 video that I'm gonna create, I'll show you how you can create articles and blogs automatically on your WordPress website. You have to, now, you know, nowadays it's so easy. Earlier people used to hire, you know, content writer to write on their WordPress website. I will show you that how in less than five minutes, you can create a workflow that can automatically write on your WordPress website, right? And also uh, not even WordPress, also like Hasnode. Hasnode is a third party service that people used to create you know, blog pages and whatnot. I'll show you that in my upcoming Anaton workflow. If you if you want it right now also, you can just go through this Anaton workflow templates link that I'll share in the description where you will find out 90 plus Anaton workflow templates. 
and get it that if you have any questions on those if it's not working you can reach out to me personally find those information on social media channel okay that's all for this video guys i hope you got a bit of idea that how you can use nn you know with agentic workflow to kind of automatically post on linkedin uh, if you have any feedback or thoughts let me know in the comment box or reach out to me through my social media channels find those information on channel banner and channel about us please hit the like icon if you liked it uh, share the video and channel with your friends subscribe the channel guys that will help me to create more such videos in the near future thank you so much for watching see you in the next one